I think that looks pretty cool.
Okay, so we're going to try two things here. First off, I'm going to use this rib and I'm going to see how well this crackles. And remember, I didn't put sodium silicate in the clay, so maybe maybe it stretches and doesn't crack. But uh, first, I want to look for cracks. And uh, the second thing I'm going to do is the moment I see cracks appear, and they, they appear at an angle because of the rotation of the wheel, I'm going to flip the direction of the wheel and we're going to go the other way and I want to see if I can get cracks to appear in both directions. So first thing I want to see if they'll crack at all and second we'll flip the wheel and see if it'll crack both ways. I'm going to start with this smaller rib on a stick because that rib was just a little too fat and being a little too grabby. Okay, I gotta stand up here. Well, it definitely is starting to crack in this direction. Uh, let me get a little bit more cracks exposed and then I'm gonna flip the wheel and we're gonna go in the other direction. I'm hesitant to push too hard too quickly because the wall is fairly thick and it could grab. So let's see here.
Since I have it opened a little bit, I'm going to go ahead and use this, go back to this round rib. We'll see if we can get it to work. So I definitely have cracks going in this direction. Let's flip the wheel direction here. We'll try the other way. Now this will be a little bit tricky because it's kind of opposite how I normally work. I'm curious to see how hard it'll be to find the right position to kind of hold the tool correctly. Well, it is expanding it, but I don't see, I wasn't sure if I'd get corresponding cracks in the other direction. I see a couple, but I'm going to keep working it and we'll see if we can get it to crack in both directions. Once it cracks in both directions, I'd rather run it in the traditional way just because it's easier to, it's easier for me to work the normal way. Well, that kind of shows me it's not possible to, not easily possible to get cracks going in both directions. If anything, it looks like these cracks are kind of straightening out, but hard to say. Well, I'm going to go back to the normal counterclockwise direction and keep expanding it now. Well, we are, not, we are getting nice cracks more so across than before. Maybe our going in both directions helped. It could just be that we're expanding it more than the last pot. But you can also really see, can't you, the wobbliness. That kind of hula dance I pointed out is continuing. And it's only going to get worse. But I'd really like to be aggressive in this case. I left the walls thick because I want it to be really expanded and then my hope is to be able to come back in here and and throw a little kind of rim at the end uh, and it's going to be tricky if it's really wobbly but uh, i'm just going to keep going for it here Well, I think that's looking pretty good. Uh, I kind of wish the shape was a little more expanded at the bottom there. I can go back in and touch that up. But I think that's looking pretty good. The trick now is going to be to figure out how to throw this without letting white slip from my hands, run down the piece. But first, let me get in here and see if I can bulge this out just a little bit more. It's got kind of a Kind of a little curve right there. I don't care for. Mm. 
Yeah, I think that looks better down here at least. I, I'd like this shoulder to be a little bit more, has kind of a pear shape to it. But I probably am pushing my luck. You can see, I hope, that this, the mouth of this pot is kind of undulating a little bit. And so that tells me it's gonna be a little bit tricky to throw a rim. But let me get in here and see if I can kind of bring this curve up a little bit more. Well, I think that's a nice shape. So let me see if I can get a rim to kind of flip out a little bit. Now leave me a comment. Tell me what you would do right here. I've upon occasion been tempted to try to readjust this kind of almost like you might tap center something. Look how far that's off. It's off a bit. Or should I use my hands and try to move it as I pull? I don't know. I'm tempted to recenter it. But what I don't know is that is that going to make something else look funky? This is the close spot. I gotta tell you, I'm nervous about shoving it too much. In the past I've shoved it and I've gotten kind of weird bulges down below. So let me see if I can get this rim re-wetted and we'll just throw it as it is. Well, I'm nervous about going too much further. I'd like to pull it up further, but I can live with this and I don't want to risk it. The pot is looking good. Well, I think one thing I answered is whether or not I needed to add sodium silicate to the cover clay. And this is obviously the one that I put sodium silicate in the cover clay and this is one that I did not. And I think the reason I have a better kind of alligator skin crackle is simply because I left it thicker and I expanded it more. But uh, note to self, you do not need to add sodium silicate to the cover clay if you're gonna do this. Just get a good layer of sodium silicate, put the clay on top, and expand it as much as you can.